We acknowledge that not all rhinitis patients are allergy driven. There is this concept that there is a large proportion, maybe 20 to 30 percent of patients, which their nose is very sensitive. We call it neurogenic rhinitis. It's a overly sensitive nose to the environment and it certainly drives a lot of symptoms. We see it for everyone in extreme conditions. We go for a jog in the cold morning air or go skiing. We can develop a watery nose. There are sometimes we walk into a smoky room and we start sneezing. Th these are neurogenic responses and they can actually be driving some people's symptoms. It's not an allergy process. There, there is a classic Cincinnati irritant index, a list of irritants that are classically associated with this that are, that are not dust, uh, grasses, molds, things that we traditionally associate with allergy. So understanding the sort of irritants that are thought to trigger off this neurogenic cascade is important. That helps you decide. Someone who doesn't respond to intranasal corticosteroid within a week or two should be a good sign that they might have non-allergic rhinitis. The, these are the sort of things we go searching for. Now, it is important though to note that the world is not black and white. There are some patients that have elements of both. And so if there is an allergic element, we generally treat that first because the sensitive nose will often disappear. But for the most part, patients who really are truly a non-allergic neurogenic rhinitis, they just simply won't respond to allergy treatments within a couple of weeks. And that's when the diagnosis should be reconsidered.